Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how you can add post CSS to your Gulp workflow. Now, it's super easy. We just have to add a couple of packages, and then we can get going adding more and more packages and just adding post CSS to our already existing workflow using Gulp. So let's get started right now. So to add something like post CSS to your workflow, it's really easy to get started with something like Gulp. And if you're using Gulp already, it's super simple to just add post CSS and post CSS packages to wherever you're working. Now, if you're not working on Gulp, the process is super similar for other build tools like Grunt, and whatever you're using. In fact, on the post CSS page, under the usage section, you can see that there's plugins for Gulp, uh, Grunt, Webpack, Broccoli, Brunch, ENB, and they even show you the basic example of using uh, post CSS with something like Gulp or you can even use it with something like Stylus using post Stylus, or there's also a command line tool that you can use um, just by installing post CSS hyphen CLI that you can use to watch files like you might be used to with like the SAS watch or something like that. So for this example, we're gonna be showing you Gulp because it is my build system of choice at the moment and it's really nice and easy to get started. So let's head over to Sublime Text and as you can see, I have this really super basic Gulp file. Uh, it's just only thing it's requiring is Gulp. It's watching some CSS files for changes. And we just have this styles task that's looking at styles.css right here. And essentially just returning that file directly to this destination folder right here. So to add on to this, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add post CSS to this. So I can, on a new line, require post CSS. Now I have the post CSS gulp uh, processor right here. So as you can see, we can install it just by this command npm install. Um, so we can do npm install hyphen hyphen save dev. Uh, gulp hyphen post CSS and that's going to add this to our packages file and add this to our project Now we can go ahead and simply require this post CSS Just like we have any other gulp sort of package we need so we have post CSS equals require quotes gulp hyphen post CSS end quote and, and then we finished that all up so now we can go ahead and use the post CSS processor in our gulp task. Now we can simply do that simply by having period pipe post CSS like so and that's a function so we can have some uh, parentheses here like that. Now if we go ahead and run this gulp task we can run gulp styles enter and as you can see it doesn't like it because like I said in the previous video, post CSS is really a package that allows you to use other plugins. So because of this, it says, please provide an array of post CSS processors. So the way that post CSS works is it requires you to have some sort of other additional processors. So let's go ahead and grab one. We're gonna grab this CSS ring here like so, and we can just copy this directly from the require statement. And let's head to our command line and type npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. And then the package we're installing is CSS ring here, like so. Now we can hit enter. Now we can add that to our require statements up here. CSS ring is equal to require CSS ring, which we just installed. Now, one way we can uh, define what type of processors we're going to be using is simply by inside of our task saying something like var processors is equal to, and then we can have this be an array of processors. Now, the reason you would want to do this is if you're having a whole bunch of processors, it's just going to be easy to define them all in a list and then pass in this variable directly into our function here. So to use one of our processors, like this CSS ring, we can just simply paste this in like so. Now other processors like auto prefixer might have more options that you can define. Uh, and in that case, as you can see in this example, uh, it's passing this not just the uh, not just the variable, but exactly a function 
not just passing this variable, but a function that takes some parameters. So we can say CSS ring here like so. Now on processors, we can just pass that directly into the post CSS function in our gulp file. Now the CSS ring, all it does is essentially allow for minifying with source maps. However, we're not using any source maps right now, so it's just going to minify our CSS. Now if we go ahead and run gulp styles, you can see it compiles our style sheet. And if we check out our new styles.css file, you can see it has in fact used this processor simply by just minifying this code. That's amazing. So in the next video, we're going to show you how you can forget about prefixes altogether using auto prefixer. And then after that, we're going to show you how you can use post CSS with your SAS or stylus preprocessors that you're already using. And then after that, we're going to get into a whole bunch of really great functionality that comes with post CSS, including my favorite grid system and rucksack and several other key features of post CSS. And eventually we're going to get into how to write your own post CSS package. So a lot of stuff coming up very soon. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you like this video, please check out some of the other Level Up Tutorials videos. We have lots of exciting playlists from Meteor to Angular to Polymer 1.0 and even some web design stuff using Sketch App. There's new videos every week and check out the video descriptions for awesome ways that you can help support this channel in creating free tutorials.